Hey everyone, so it's me Caitlin again. Today I'm going to be talking about the sporting industry, which is one of my favourite industries that I've been participating in since I was very young in age. So while growing up, many children are encouraged to participate in sports and I was definitely one of those children. I did dancing, netball and touch football for numerous years as well as participating in other sports, not so competitively. I was also uh, part of the school cross country and athletics teams in both primary school and high school. Right. Sports is defined as physical activity that is governed by a set of rules or codes. Australia touch football and netball are not dominating major sports, but are rather replaced by NRL and AFL. I'm going to focus, therefore, on NRL, as it's something I'm passionate about. I've grown up watching NRL. I used to go to all the Broncos home games at Suncorp Stadium when I was younger, and State of Origin is nearing, so why not? Um, I'm also wearing a bit of a State of Origin Queensland jersey to really set the tone. State of it. Origin is a prime example of an epic showdown. We see the New South Wales side versus the Queensland side in a set of three matches. So matches like the State of Origin are definitely driven by the fans and audience and without knowing what the outcome is there going is absolutely no sympathy or resilience shown between the two states throughout these matches and this represents the true tribal mentality that has been present in uh, competitive sports for many many years. So State of Origin doesn't just focus on the game of NRL today. There is a whole mixture of other different things such as advertising for Forex Gold, Beef Pies, uh, gambling associations, and also merchandising. So this whole concept of sportainment is definitely fluent within the state of origin. Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you learned something about the sporting industry or NRL. And remember, go Queensland!